Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, this is that Schaberti sculpture I've been working on. It's all aluminum and it's going to be big. It's going to be up there about 10 and a half, maybe 11 foot tall the time it gets all done. These are the branches that actually screw onto the ball that is the, you know, the main part of the plant, if you will. And they have this little flower that goes on the end of it. And that flower has a bearing in it and then it gets glued on. But the question I just got from the peanut gallery before the camera got turned on was, did these rods come with threads on the end of them? No, actually they don't. It just comes in one big long stick and I put the threads on the end. So this is a tap and die set. You see this is from Craftsman, but you can get lots of different variations on them. This is a metric set for metric nuts and bolts. And then this is the uh, SAE set or American set for everything else. This is a die and this is a tap. So what all is in the box? What, what are the other parts and pieces that you get? These are a lot of different size taps and different size of dies. This tool right here is for holding the smaller taps. They go inside, you just tighten that nut down and then you just turn this by hand. This is a larger version of that same tool. More, you know, two handles on it instead of one, get a lot more leverage with it. You use those with the bigger taps. This is a die holder. It goes in there, you tighten it down, your rod goes through from this end, and then you just turn it, and that would put the threads, that would cut the threads right into the piece of metal. And this little guy, this is a pitch gauge. You look on there, you'll see there's numbers stamped on each one of those, 11, 12, 13, and on and on and on. And those correspond to the numbers that are on the dies and the taps. So you can match them up and get the right pitch. Because there's all different sizes and different shapes of the pitches. So you, you have to have exactly the right one for what you're trying to do. And the pitch is so many per inch. So many, so many threads per inch. Uh, and you see right here, it says quarter 20. That's what it means. It's quarter inch diameter, 20 threads per inch. And there are two different sides. There's the front side and the back side on these. The back side, if you look right here at the top of this, you see it's nice square and cut off. It's a nice flat surface this way, parallel going down into the threads. If you look on the other side, you see this is tapered right in here. It's actually at a bit of an angle this way. So as you go to start on your rod, this would be the side that you would start with. That would go onto the rod you're trying to thread and that would allow you to start cutting thread. So to use one, you've got your die holder, you've got your die, you know which side is the starting side, that's the side that's tapered. So it would go in first, of course it comes with a handy little screwdriver, barely snug it up so it stays in. How do you make sure you're, you're level and straight and perpendicular and everything's going to come out the way it's supposed to? This tool holder actually has an extra little attachment inside there and you loosen up these two nuts and you can rotate this. You see the little fingers close up inside there? What you would do is you would take your, your tool holder and you would put it on top of the rod that you're going to cut threads on and then you would tighten those up. You would turn that little knob right there and tighten those fingers up so they come in and they're just barely holding on to the rod itself. And that'll help keep it straight as it's cutting down. That's how you guide it. So to get started, you just clamp whatever it is you're trying to thread into a vise. And remember, this is the starting side. So it just goes down and you just kind of, you can kind of feel it get started. Now, of course, you've seen, you're, I'm sure you're seeing all the little threads falling out. So I went ahead and cut that quarter inch by 20 thread in there. And this is a little piece of the shaving that came out with it. So that's a die. That's for doing a rod, putting threads onto a rod. And the other half of the box, or other three quarters of the box, if you will, these are all full of taps. And the tap is nothing more than a die turned inside out, if you will. The cutting threads are on the outside for like going into a nut. You know, if you've got a thread that's, that's boogered up in the nut a little, you can come in with your tap and clean it out that way. Um, you know, if you're if you've got just like a flat piece of steel and you want to put a bolt into it to attach something, that's what you would use as a tap. You would drill your hole, slightly undersized, make sure you read on there, it tells you what size drill to use for what size tap. 
so it comes out the correct size. And then you just go in there and just cut that hole down inside, take it back out, now you have a hole, or you have threads in your hole. So hopefully if you've been lost and wandering around and, and just trying to get a grip on things, uh, these will help. You know, tap and die set, making holes, making threads, that's what they do. And I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to reach up there and hit that notification bell so you find out when things are going on. And I'll see you all next time. Not a tap, tap, tap.